Hello my beautiful Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Today I will do an early October reading. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling some cards, oracle messages for more clarity in your situations. Also, if you would like to book a private reading, you can go to the link below in the description box. And to spread the love, make sure to give this reading a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys, let's jump into your reading and let's see what's coming your way. Okay, I'm touching something here. Okay, there's a path opening for you towards the end of the month. Maybe the fourth week. Your cup was holding really tightly. So if you had like a question in your mind and it just let it go at the end. So I feel like there's still some time, but it's going to be manifesting. Okay, it's going to be coming really in a good um, uh, way. It's in a very um, constructive way. It's going to appear in your life. Here I see like um, almost a, a half moon. And there are two different paths are opening for you. In the middle of these paths, this looks like a cup, also a legal paper, okay? This can be like a back and forth within the first week of October that you're going to be doing like some back and forth to clarify a situation, maybe get some clarity on a legal situation or even resolve it. And I feel like towards the end of the week, not in the beginning, but towards the end of the week, uh, you're going to actually resolve this thing. I also see here um, like a face like a monkey and I feel like monkey actually represents communication and civilization because they are actually like one of the smartest uh, when it comes to and I want to see if there is actually in this um, oracle deck no they didn't have it i would i was gonna look at the meaning but uh, as my interpretation here this is about something about communication okay and you're gonna actually find a way to communicate and find a middle path like you can see there's actually middle and wider path is opening for you i also see someone's face here like when i look at it from here like somebody's looking down and feeling down and within the beginning of the month, maybe there's a situation really bugging you, really giving you discomfort. There is going to be a resolution coming in that situation. You're going to resolve this within towards the end of the first week, okay? I see another international path opening here. Okay, actually, I saw it in the beginning. Sorry. Okay, this part is the beginning. And uh, this might be about someone in another country or maybe a situation that you want to handle in another country. Maybe you want to immigrate or even like get a working visa somewhere, um, or even like go get a trip, go to like a, a cruise or something. And uh, in the beginning, you might get like rejections and the things are not really, maybe you don't have everything all together. And there's gonna be a situation happening, the communication path is gonna open and the legal things are actually set, going to set in order. And you can see the phone lines are also appearing. So you're gonna actually correct the communication, the path, and the start the things are start to move in that direction that you would like i see here within the second week one path is the, i see here and the, the two other paths are also opening and i feel like there's one path that you want to travel can be a place that you want to go or even like a person that you want to visit uh, it's not 100 percent clear though the other two will be happening but this can also be like the phone lines are showing so this can be someone on the, at the end of the phone that you're going to actually pick up, call and connect and maybe get things done with their help. And this is also showing here. So also in the second week, I see a polar bear here. Polar bears indicate like, uh, first of all, a water related animal because they are like live on the ice and means emotions. Usually bears indicate someone very powerful uh, with authority, strength. And, but when it comes to polar bears, because of their nature like they live that they have all the features of the bears however because they live in the water they actually symbolize those emotions as well so someone with a lot of authority power and strength <clears throat> might be going through like an emotional time or uh, maybe uh, being vulnerable with you or you're being vulnerable at a time but it doesn't mean this is a bad thing. This is a moment of transformation for you. And you're going to be facing the things that are not really serving you anymore and letting them go and upgrading yourself to another level. And you can see this is also looking like an archway, like you're passing through this archway 
and there is a bridge in front of you means that you're crossing over to another side okay this reminds me of the six of uh swords card it is actually uh the people are moving to the calmer shores on the on the boat on the six of swords however in this one i see you crossing a bridge and the maybe letting go whatever doesn't serve you anymore and i feel like i have this another deck in this deck there is actually six of swords represented like that like crossing a bridge over the water and there's a shooting star up here so your wishes and desires that's all going to actually show up in your life and uh, this is going to be like a path will be opening in the second week and you're going to be visibly able to see that okay so uh on the third week i see here like a fire dragon showing here and i saw like a bunch of like a pile of money is just accumulating so this can be a new opportunity of money wealth abundance and um, maybe connections uh, like i said when you have a good connections they can actually get you to the places that you want and you desire and you're needed okay and with the connections you can actually make a lot of things happen so I feel like this fire breathing dragon is actually symbolizing the wealth, the connections that you're going to be having. Because under the, the dragon, there's a lot of connections. This can be also representative of a person, a fire sign, maybe like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, that's going to show up. I also see like a moment of coming together. I see this is a lion. This looks like a Leo. Um, and you are... I don't know if you're holding this person up from their like collar, lifting them up. I see a letter D, maybe Derek or some like uh, can be in their first name or the last name. Or like, is it like a meeting or is it kind of like a fiery moment? Like I cannot really say that. And somebody's actually falling down here. So you might have a little bit controversy or uh, maybe conflict with someone within the third week. And um I feel a lot of fire happening here, maybe like a little bit back and forth. However, um, this is not aged in stone, okay? If this can be even like um, a foretelling that you can actually control yourself if such a thing happens, okay? At the end, I'm going to pull the cards and see what the situation is. And um, might be you might even be pulled into that kind of a situation. And there's a sword right behind you and you're not using the sword. Sword symbolizes truth your words, your own truth, okay, speaking, communication, communicating uh, yourself, articulating your emotions in a perfect way, your knowledge, that's what source represents, okay, so maybe instead of just using your hands, it's time to use your words, in, if you're in that kind of a situation, to not to be misunderstood, with that, you're actually standing on top of money, this can also be like an inheritance issue that you're going back and forth with the other parts of the situation, or maybe something legal, um, even like, um, you know, even in school, maybe if you're, I don't know if you guys are any of you going to school or doing school work, maybe like a competition at work can be any of that, but keep like, um, keep your calm and cool because the things are actually going to settle best way possible. I see a cat here within the fourth week and there's actually a fox here. Foxes, um, actually they are tameable not 100 percent. however they have this nature of like a sneaky nature and cat means um feminine energy and connecting with your feminine energy your creative side so fox can be someone who's actually looking one way and acting another way but at the same time a little bit playful person that you really like to spend time with and you will maybe their in, in, energy is giving you inspiration when it comes to feminine energy creativity and so this is like in the fourth week they're appearing here and i feel like there's actually a crowd on top of your head and there are mountains so this person might be giving you inspiration but at the same time taking uh the precious time that you have maybe because they want too much attention so it's time to just balance that out in the fourth week there's going to be an opportunity for you to balance that energy maybe speak your own truth because there are so many words also coming here as well okay Right now, I'm going to get into your plate. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that one. Definitely a new horizon showing here. A chunk of money in your heart. That's what you want to manifest. And in your desire, I see some two people holding hands here, actually. Um, can be like a peacemaking. Like two people, like 
there's a heart shape showing here if you're manifesting love perfectly can be love two people connecting however this has some time to develop i think it just needs to be building up and i saw like a bird here and like a pe people you can see like someone with a big hat a male and a masculine figure and a feminine figure that feminine figure also had a hat too and i see like a snake on the back of this person snake indicates uh, health medicine the staff of hermes like kundalini energy so this person might be in med medical business and i also see another woman with a hat here she might be also authority a person's this person's family and uh, they're gonna also show up uh within the third the second and the third week okay and um whatever this is like i said this has some time and there's a fish inside of it so even if it's a romantic thing at the end like you're gonna actually get fish means money by the way uh, so you're gonna be receiving some financial wealth at the end also maybe like doing business with a loved one and uh, growing your wealth together or like you know helping each other financially at the same time can also be that one all right guys let's see your card your clarity is right here we have the nine of pentacles enjoying the fruits of your labor hard work has led to luxurious life buying yourself something special happily and successfully self-employed enjoying your solitude so keep enjoying your solitude because love and friendship and are coming also like uh there's a massive upgrade showing in your uh finances as well okay when it comes to spirituality we have squirrel and it says spiritual maintenance be your own caretaker so it's time to focus on what you want and how you would like to proceed in your life and um, maybe give yourself the love and that everything that you deserve you feel like you deserve to have that maybe you want a relationship just treat the way that you want it to be treated treat yourself that way okay we have the full moon energy here protect your energy and hold your stars close star indicates manifestation by the way in the tarot and i'm gonna put it that way and uh, analyze it that way so you hold your stars meaning your desires your manifestations things you would like close meaning focus on them meditate on them feel like how it would feel to have all of them at the same time or just create a scene in your mind and visualize that you have everything you desire i think that's what it means that hold your stars close okay all right my lovelies that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do let me know and like share and subscribe and spread the love see you in the next video bye